Hey Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see what are your person's messages to you right now. So what is it that your person wants you to know right now? It is going to be general reading guys, so if you have a personal one feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Pause this video, take, um, take a moment and think of your person. We just want to see what their messages are to you right now. Okay, interesting. I feel like it's someone else that had the tower. You might be dealing with them. Uh, a fire sign. Because there was also the tower card that showed up then. So an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. Okay, what's going on with this person? Your person's a little confused. Your person's a little blocked, a little closed off. Okay, there are some blockages in the connection. There is uncertainty. There is some anxiety. And you've got the High Priestess here. Below that, you've got the Three of Swords. Okay, so basically, um, things are a little bit confusing, a little bit disorientating, a little bit uncertain right now between you and this individual. You might be experiencing a tower moment or two with this person, okay? There may be a disconnection, a discord, or a distance between you and this person, which I guess, you know, makes sense given that it's resulting in this kind of confusing or disorientating energy. So, you're not really sure what this is. You're not really sure what's going on through their mind. Um, you're not really sure what they're thinking about. They may not be communicating with you. Um, it, they might be someone that's hard to... Either they might be hard to get a hold of. So maybe this isn't someone who's very responsive. Uh, maybe this isn't someone who... They don't open up. Okay, So they don't always communicate. They don't always tell you what's on their mind or how they're feeling. And therefore it can be really hard for you to gauge the situation or gauge what it is that they're feeling. They could potentially be feeling about you this way, though. They could see this whole, especially if you're in some sort of tower moment, it just feels like it's kind of, it's very disorientating, it's very confusing, and it just feels like it's kind of, um, it's shaken up their world. They do, either they're coming across as a mystery, a bit of an enigma, or you are, okay? Either this person is hard to get a read of, or they feel like you are. But in terms of their energy, I see that there is blockages. And I see that this person might be... Okay. Um, I see that this person might have blocked you. Okay. May have blocked you on um, social media or may have blocked your number. Or this person... Like there's honestly blockages when it comes to this person. Like this is someone who um, is, you know, fearful of commitment. This is someone who... Uh, might be afraid to open their heart up and be vulnerable. This is someone who's afraid to catch feelings. This is someone who might potentially want to love you, okay? Who wants to love you, but is scared to do that. They're scared to, they're scared of rejection. They're scared of being hurt. They're scared of history repeating itself. Um, I also feel like there is, when it comes to this person, I feel like they either have choices or options around them, okay? Um, that could mean that, you know, it may be you, them, and someone else. Um, it could mean that they're holding space for an ex to come back. It could mean that they're holding space for someone else to come back. Oh, so someone. Wait, no, that didn't make any sense whatsoever. So let me start again. It could mean that they're holding space for an ex to come back. Or it could also mean that they're holding space for someone else. This holding space, this, you know, this whole idea of holding space, meaning that they're in this energy where they think that the grass is green on the other side and, you know, they if they get into a relationship with you, then they, um, you know, cut themselves off from potentially meeting someone who might be more compatible emotionally or mentally. And, you know, this is why they may be avoiding trying to get a relationship with you because what if the grass is green on the other side, right? What if the grass is green on the other side of the lawn? So that's this whole, they could have shiny object syndrome as well, you know, um, that that's the other thing. It could mean that maybe this person has a lot of other things going on right now and a relationship like is not something that they are prioritizing right now. Or it's not something that they have time for. So that's the whole notion of them having options and choices. Um, maybe they feel as though... Um, 
maybe this person is treating you okay that's speaking of options maybe this person is treating you like a like um like an option and not a priority there is something that your person wants to tell you but they're holding back they're definitely not communicating this to you they're definitely not and you know what whatever this is it feels like this is information you do deserve to know because it could potentially change the way you see them it could potentially change um it could result like it could alter the outcome of this connection it could potentially change whether or not you want a relationship or whether you're not you know whether or not you want to pursue this with them it just could change things a lot for you and this person eight of swords energy i just feel like they're holding back i also feel like they're not and i don't think they're purposely holding back from you but i just think this person has a hard time communicating i also feel like they don't like with them i don't know what's going on with them but they're feeling a little bit disorientated they're feeling a little bit confused i just feel like there's a lot that might be happening with them and as a result i feel like it's really distracting them and it's distracting them from uh, you know, from this relationship, it's distracting them from getting to know you, from building more of a connection. There is this imbalance right now in the energies. There's a strong imbalance in the energies. I think the fact that they're not 100%, like their mind's not 100% made up. I think the fact that they're not completely, you know, sold on you or not completely sold on this connection is also just further adding or fueling this disorientation, um, this confusion. There is this imbalance. There is this I think right now you're potentially more invested in this relationship than they are. You And maybe potentially you might have created this imbalance or maybe you're adding to this imbalance. What do I mean by that? Well, for instance, you might be over-investing or over-extending yourself, over-committing and just over-giving. And you're doing this, maybe you're doing this subconsciously, okay? Maybe you don't even realize that you're doing it. But you're doing this because you're trying to overcompensate for this person's lack of efforts. Like you're always calling and texting, initiating plans, or you're always putting in the effort. Because if you don't, and they don't, then they don't. Okay? See what I mean? So maybe, you know, there's some of that that's happening here. It could also mean, as I've mentioned earlier, this imbalance could be an indication of, you know, them potentially having caught feelings for you, but they may still have feelings for an ex. Or even if they don't necessarily have feelings for the ex per se, um, they may still have lingering emotions that stem from some sort of tower moment. Maybe this is someone who has just come off the heels of a breakup. Okay, maybe this is someone who's just recently um, separated or has recently, you know, broke up a connection. Um, or even if it's not recent, I just think it feels still very raw to them, and therefore that's why I'm saying it's recent. You know, they're still not over it. They're still not over the hurt, the anger, the resentment, or the jealousy, whatever it is. And those, uh, you know, those emotions are still lingering in their energy. It's like this dark cloud over them. So I just think your person isn't necessarily ready for this. Okay, I don't think that they're ready to um, confess or admit their feelings to you. I don't think that they're ready to have this conversation with you. I don't think that they're ready to commit to this. Okay, not just yet. That doesn't mean they'll never be ready. But given the energies right now, and I think they're not communicating this to you directly, but I think they're communicating it to you in different ways, like them blocking you or them not responding to you. Just remember that no response is a response and it's a powerful one indeed. Okay, so if they're not texting you back, if you know they're not making the plans, if they're not initiating the plans, um, if they're just being cold and distant, you know, that in itself is a big red flag. So... And that's probably more than enough that you know that then you need to know. Um, notice how in the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords, the woman is wearing a blindfold. Okay, there is something that you're not seeing. There is maybe you're maybe you're making excuses for their behavior. Okay, maybe you're looking at the relationship and you're seeing what you want to see rather than what's really there. Maybe you're making up excuses for the way that they're behaving or the way that they've been acting lately. Um, you know, maybe you're romanticizing the situation, okay? You're putting them on this pedestal and you're romanticizing this connection and this situation. It just, you know, two swords, two of wands, the two pillars here. I just feel like that they they need to make up their mind, okay? They need to make up their mind about whether or not, you know, they want the time and the space to process their emotions and whether or not eventually they're going to give this connection the attention that it deserves. But I feel like they need to make up their mind. Okay, because right now they could potentially be leading you on. Or right now, um, it's it's not fair to you. Okay, it's not fair to you. Because if they're not invested, it's better that they tell you now. Or it's better that you believe them now. Rather than, you know, have, a, have this go on for, I don't know, months or however long. So 
I think whatever it is that they want to tell you, you deserve to know. And um, and a lot of it is what they're holding from you is the fact that they're not ready or they're scared to do this or, you know, they're not 100% on you or, you know, they're because the thing is, it's their actions. You know, if you want to know how so much about how, okay. Where was I going? If you want to know how much someone values your relationship or how much someone values the connection they have with you, look at what they do. Look at how much action or how little action and effort they put into the connection. And this person, I just feel like this person is just like, you know, just is just blocked, is just closed off, is just guarded, is just confused. And maybe what they need is time and space to make up their mind. Um, or maybe what they need is, you know, a decision yes or no they can't be sitting on the fence it's not fair to you um I, I don't or maybe what the both of you need is a conversation to clear out some of this confusion um i mean you're the expert on your own relationship i believe in that strongly but i definitely feel like you know this person um has a lot of things emotionally and mentally that they need to process and i think that you deserve to know that there's a lot of confusion that's going on with their energy Alright, these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye!